I think that there is a fight now between between marketing. I, I'm for, I work inside marketing because I work in television. My program has uh, spots, commercial spots, but I believe that marketing is the worst thing that has happened. We have 2,500 ads a day that we see. They're constantly telling you, you are incomplete. You are incomplete. And guess what? To be complete, you need this. Right? You need that. You need this product. You need that product. And when we start to get all of this stuff, we say, oh, this is not enough. I need to buy more. I need to have more. I need to acquire more. Is this a consumer culture? An insane society? Where marketers, advertisers, and media promote the worship of consumerism. I'm the king of excess. I'm the sultan of sales. I'm the boss of bargains. My credit cards, they never fail. I got a 700 something on my beacon score, which means I don't own a thing and I can buy Enough. Next on SoulTV.net. You work in a job you hate to buy stuff you don't need to impress people you don't like. Is this what a wonderful life is supposed to be? Marketing because of greed. Because marketing exists only to make money. And in marketing, most of the marketing, there's some people that they are using it for good uh, things, for and we can speak of good or bad, but at least for, for uh, having some more harmony in the world. But mostly it's just to sell things, sell things that we don't need. And the best musicians, the best uh, uh, creators, uh, the best uh, poets, they buy them, they buy these people, they pay them a lot of money so they can give. Instead of making poetry, instead of making music for the joy of the people, they are doing all this to sell, to use something that you don't need. Paul Ashby writes, Consumerism is driven by huge sums spent on advertising design to create both a desire to follow trends and to personal self-reward system based on you guessed it right, acquisition. So how much is enough? I spent $700, but I saved 10% on the samurai sword, but I forgot to pay rent. I'm a bottom dealing, system beating, trustworthy guy, and I'll break even when my pet pig learns to fly. It's a wonderful The reason why you feel empty is because you don't give enough. It's not because you don't have enough. And, and so the dominant paradigm in our culture today has got us thinking that we don't have enough to be complete and that we need more things and we need more products and we need more gadgets to be complete. But this is an exact opposite idea. It's an ancient idea. It's, you know, the, the natives in all cultures understood it. You always want to give. It is when you give that you are fulfilled. And so in this culture, kids have forgotten. Like their Christmas wish is not like, I want to go do something nice for my grandma or grandpa. It's like, I want something. I want that product that everybody in school is talking about. And so in this culture, we've forgotten this very ancient idea of generosity, and so we need to be reminded. Shop till you drop isn't just another phrase. You must have heard about the Walmart shopper trampled to death and knocked down a pregnant woman. Even if you are a red-blooded American who believes in capitalism, democracy, and the pursuit of happiness, can you stay out of the path 
of a fundamentalist consumer's mob. And to make you think that you will be, you will find happiness with this. And in the first moment it's true, you think it's happiness, it's not really happiness. But you buy something or you get something through the advertisement and the marketing and for, for a sh very short time you feel you have accomplished uh, but after a few minutes you empty again. What we would consider as common human decency now needs to be billed as an act of kindness. Right? I mean that's a, that's a terrible thing that's a you know who wants to be in that culture? Well, we need to change that culture. You know, so maybe you start looking for opportunities to be kind, and then it hits you that, oh, I could hold the elevator door just a little bit longer so somebody can come in. Or I could pick up the glove because somebody has dropped it. Or if I have an hour where I'm walking down the streets and it's raining, maybe I can share an umbrella. Or I could go into the dollar store and buy 50 umbrellas and give them out to people who are wet. I mean, it's a, it's a very simple thing um, once you start to get the hang of it. So it's really a shift from me to we. And our culture, unfortunately, is a very me-oriented culture at the moment. Um, but we have to change that, and it happens with small acts. It doesn't happen with big, radical, uh, you know, commercialized revolutions. For many of us, there's a, a sense of uh, meaninglessness or uh, lack of meaning in our lives uh, that, that we, we, we seek to assuage, you know, first through distractions of all kinds, through addictions, through losing ourselves and, and all of the, the uh, different kinds of entertainment that the, the culture offers, uh, uh, but which fundamentally can only be uh, satisfied through a turn to something more genuine in ourselves and in our relationships. So there's that very personal hunger uh, uh, that derives from our own personal suffering. I think there's also uh, a recognition, increasing recognition on the part of many that it's not just we who are suffering, but it's, it's others uh, as well, and it's the earth as a whole. Have you become trapped in the vortex of desires due to the greater marketing machine? Have you given in to the certain degree of gluttony without respecting natural limits? Yes! We want more! We want more! We need more! I Japanese with my American pride to keep the jungles at bay I buy for um, but we have to change that, and it happens with small acts. It doesn't happen with big, radical, uh, you know, commercialized revolutions. The happiness is not there. Happiness is only inside yourself. And so recognizing that, in fact, we are actually deeply embedded in the world that we are trying to change uh, begins to make an enormous difference in how we think about strategies for change. So this phrase from Gandhi that, that is, is very popular now, be the change you want to see in the world, I think reflects this. Living in this marketing nightmare is remarkably unhealthy, not only for you, but for the environment as well. So, are you going to be the change you want in the world? For SoulTV.net, I'm Patricia Rayner.